just got back from the DMV. <laughs> I was really hoping that Jessica was going to have my back, but you know what? Um, she didn't. My first mistake was that they actually tell you to look below the camera, but I was so rushed, you know, because it's just a big rush. Everyone's going crazy at the DMV that I didn't look below the camera. I looked right at the camera, and this is what my picture looks like. So, not my best work, but that's fine. It's still a beautiful day to be alive. Today is all about sweet treats that are healthier options when that sweet tooth kicks in. I have a very strong sweet tooth I have since I was little, but because I live a healthy lifestyle, I try to find healthier alternatives to substitute for not healthy alternatives like Sour Patch Watermelons. The first recipe we're making today are Angel Food Cake Cupcakes. These turned out bomb, they're so dang good. They are the perfect option if you're going to a party and you wanna be the healthy person there and everyone's gonna be like, wow girl, thank you. Or if you're like me and you wanna have all of the cupcakes for yourself and you wanna store them and then pull one out or five out a day when you really need one. <laughs> so. Second dessert option I made today was peanut butter cups. Now, all right, I'm gonna be honest, are they as good as a Reese's peanut butter cup? No, but this is a healthier alternative. They turned out fire, I made all my roommates eat them, and they were like, fire, and I was like, thank you. Simple, easy, I ain't got time to buy a million ingredients that I'll use one time for one recipe. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you do, please be sure to give it a thumbs up and never forget to subscribe so you never miss a fit tip with wit again without further ado let's get into the video Alrighty guys, this ended up being my favorite recipe. Super simple, you're gonna want some strawberries, some Cool Whip Light, a cupcake baking sheet, cupcake liners, I did silver cause bougie, and some Betty Crocker Angel Food Cake Mix. Now this recipe calls for 42 cupcakes, and I was like, no nah, girl, that's way too much for me, so I ended up splitting the recipe in half, and that calls for one and one third cup of the mixture some water I'll leave all the measurements down below and then you're just gonna whisk that together it's gonna get super fluffy super airy and then we are going to pour these into our cupcake pan I'm taking a big spoonful and I am filling up each cupcake liner to about three-fourths full they do expand so don't go too much a lot of mine went over so keep it at that three-fourth line and then they'll be perfecto by splitting this recipe up, I was able to make 21 cupcakes exactly. So you can either make the full 42 with the whole box or split it in half. Have three today, five tomorrow, share some or not. It's up to you. I'm popping these in the oven for eight minutes and then I checked on them. They still weren't brown so I popped them back in for one more minute which was a total of nine minutos. <laughs> Look at that math. While those were in the oven, I went ahead and started cutting up some strawberries into quarters so that I can top that on top of the cupcakes. Pulled it out of the oven, I'm using two tablespoons of Cool Whip. I eyed it, you can measure it if you're like super strict on your macros. I just, a little dollop, yep, yeah, two tablespoons, call it a day. Let the cupcakes cool completely before adding any toppings. Now you can top all of these off and share them, eat them that day, or or you can saran wrap them, put them in a Tupperware, and eat them throughout the week when you need a sweet treat. Peanut butter cups, okay. Few ingredients, but a few more steps. Today we need PB Fit peanut butter powder. I'm using some dark chocolate chips, mini baking cups, because these are little mini guys, and then just a splash of almond milk. I'm going to start by taking the dark chocolate chips and I'm going to melt them in 15 second intervals. It took me about four times of popping it in the microwave. 15 seconds, microwave it, stir it up. Here we have a melted gooey yumminess. Once completely melted, I'm going to slowly start adding in my almond milk. Now keep in mind, always remember, I will leave all the recipes and measurements in the description box below. So check that out before you make some yummy peanut butter cups that are healthy-ish. Now, here's the fun part. You wanna start layering in your Reese's cup. But with each layer, we are going 
to pop it in the freezer. So I actually did a little bit too much on the bottom because remember you still have to cover the top. So eye out your portions, do a small layer of the chocolate and then we are going to pop that in the freezer for just a few minutes while we make our peanut butter spread. I am adding one cup of the PB Fit powder with half a cup of water and I'm going to mix that up until it's nice and creamy. Now I ended up adding just a splash more of water so it has a runny texture just like this. It's going to make it a little bit easier to pour it into our cups. So I pulled those peanut butter cups out of the freezer. The chocolate is just a little bit more solidified that way. Solidified? Is that a word? Okay, cr cr pretend it is. Add the peanut butter on top. And then we are going to pop that in the freezer for 30 minutos. That's going to allow the peanut butter to freeze and harden up before we add our chocolate on top. This recipe ended up making 22 peanut butter cups. After you finish off that top layer, I threw them back in the freezer for another 30 minutes. And then after that, they were completely hardened and ready to go. I ended up placing these in a Ziploc freezer bag and I'll just pull one out of the freezer when I'm ready to eat one. I do let it dethaw for about a minute or two and then I'll snack on a little cup. I hope that you guys enjoyed these two recipes. If you did, please be sure to give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to check out the description box for all of the information. And until next time, I will see you guys next time. Love as much. Love as much. Goodbye.